All fans want two things from their young rookie star, for them to be good and for them to be tough. Jeremy Sohan fits the bill for both of these, as he embodies a don't mess with me attitude along with creativity and openness, which shows flashes of greatness. Not only has he been a bright spot on the Spurs this year, but has taught a few veteran NBA players a lesson in toughness. Yeah, that was definitely a welcome to the NBA moment. Sure. So let's take a look at five reasons you never mess with Jeremy Sohan on or off the court. Number five, Sohan's rough Polish upbringing. At just 19 years old, Jeremy Sohan has shown flashes of being a great player. Part of the reason is that basketball has been in his blood since day one. Both of his parents played college and professional basketball, but even beyond them, Sohan's grandpa was a director of basketball in Warsaw, Poland, and the president of the Warsaw Regional Basketball Association. And even beyond that, his great-grandfather played football in Poland, or as an uncultured Western calls it, soccer. He's out of line, but he's right. Now, basketball has taken Sohan all over the world, from England, America, and back to Poland. There, he started playing professionally at just age 16. And if anyone knows anything about European basketball, it's a lot more complicated and requires more high-level strategy. So no wonder the Spurs love Sohan. You know, when you do come from the NBA or, or different leagues, and you do come to Europe, it's different basketball. It's more, it's more physical, it's less space. But another thing that is well known is that you don't mess with Eastern European. That is a cardinal rule in boxing and mixed martial arts, and it's also true when it comes to basketball, as they tend to be some of the toughest people on the planet. And Sohan, at just 16 years old, was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the roughest and toughest ballers on the planet. So talk about being thrown into the wolves' den. That really does put things into perspective, because since entering the NBA, a couple of players have tested Sohan's gangster and paid the price for it. But more on that in a little bit. First, let's take a moment to reflect on Sohan's shooting style. Number 4. Willing to shoot one-handed. Do you really want to mess with someone who has zero concerns of being made fun of or humiliated? People who have such a carefree attitude and are comfortable in their own skin tend to be the most dangerous because they have nothing to prove. And Sohan radiates this type of energy. Just take a look at his free throw shooting form. Sohan started the season out with a typical free throw shooting form. You know, two hands on the ball kind of form. But he was shooting a horrendous 45% from the line. That is worse than Shaq. So it was time for Sohan to innovate and get creative. And that's exactly what he did as he had adopted a one-handed free throw shooting form. At least that's better than the granny shot. Shout out to Rick Barry. He's got a lot of guts, a lot of courage to go out there and do it with one hand. Since changing his form, Sohan is shooting over 75% from the line, and that confidence has elevated his game overall. He's willing to do whatever it takes to be better. So much so that he even shot his shot at Kendall Jenner, who was present at a Spurs game. That might have been an air ball, though. But still, you definitely don't want to mess with a guy who is willing to shut out all the noise, including the hecklers, and transform himself mid-season. And talking about haters, not only is Sohan dangerous on the court, but his Twitter fingers are also lethal. Number three, will make you a meme. It's a meme, Batman. In our current social media age, you no longer have to be cautious who you talk about in person, but also online. A certain Celtic fan had to learn that lesson the hard way. The fan went as far as to tag Sohan as he tweeted out, quote, You suck. Good luck making the NBA next year, you loser. But Sohan has incredible vision on and off the court, and he saw this tweet and decided to make him a meme in order to teach him a lesson. Sohan simply replied back with, No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. With numerous emojis making fun of the hater. So not only will Sohan dunk on you on the court, but he will also posterize you online as well. It's hard to say what's worth. If you get dunked on in a game, it's part of the NBA experience. And by next week, everyone will forget that it even happened. But if you get dunked on online, then you're sure to have someone reminding you in your mentions daily. So no wonder the hater ended up bowing down to Sohan and admitting defeat. We're sure Sohan forgave him, but he seems like the type of guy that never forgets. And speaking of never forgetting, how can anyone forget Sohan's interesting choice? of fashion. And if you're willing to pull off some of the looks that Sohan is famous for, then it's best you don't get in his way, because who knows what else he might end up doing. Number two, Rolodex of hairstyles. Like another famous Spurs player, Sohan is known to chance up his hair color often. In fact, sometimes as if he changes it mid-game. He has colored his hair pink, green, purple, and has even had a blue starfish pattern. To be honest, there isn't any really. Uh, I went to my stylist and we looked at a few ideas. And, you know, I just found some flowers. 
And I was like, why not? All of these odd choices had Spurs fans comparing him to Dennis Rodman. Now, if anyone knows anything about Rodman, it's best to steer clear of him both on and off the court. But Sohan doesn't seem to be the type to be following in Rodman's footsteps off the court. He does, however, play with that grit and intensity that made Rodman so famous. When you're so open that you're willing to try any look or hairstyle, it kind of gives off this aura of confidence that makes people think twice before messing with you. And that is exactly what Sohan has going for him. Besides, maybe Sohan's superpowers lie in his hair, as if he was some Dragon Ball Z character. And the way that he's handled some of his on-the-court fights, it seems as if he really might be out of an anime. Number 1. On the Court Scuffles It's natural for a few veteran players to try and punk the new guy on the block. It happens every year. So it was not surprising to see a hothead vet like Markeith Morris try to get under Sohan's skin. Nuggets have five on four, and Jokic, oh no! No! But it seems like Morris didn't learn his lesson from messing with Jokic. Sohan ended up tossing the much bigger and experienced Morris to the ground like he was some little kid. Morris tried to get back up and get in Sohan's face, but the young rookie didn't take a single step back. <laughs> yeah, this was coming. And that was Morris coming. and Sohan getting into it in Collins as well. It seems like Soan's dad taught him right. You can't back down to a bully. And that wasn't the only time that someone tested him. Just recently, Chris Dunn learned the hard way not to mess with him. Despite being almost 10 years older than Sohan, Dunn was easily manhandled in the paint by him as he hit an and one on Dunn. I guess Dunn didn't like that as he tried to strong arm Sohan afterward and ended up getting his arm smacked away. Oh boy, watch out. I thought Sohan took a swing right at Chris Dunn. And now you get uh, security jumping on the floor. I don't know what it, what excited Sohan to such a high level. Now again, Sohan did not back down from a bully. So far, two vets have tried their luck at punking him, and both have been left looking dumb. The lesson is clear. Whether it's online or on the court, you don't want to mess with this young up-and-coming star because he will get the last laugh. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched 5 Reasons You Never Mess With Jeremy Sohan on or off the court. We'll see you next time.